Welcome to Rhythm Cafe, the cafe that is doing a classic in music today, I guess, probably, as far as you are all concerned for video games. Hey, I'm Heather, and with me is... Ian Horner! Yay, okay, cool. So it took a second there to spool up. <laughs> How's it going, Heather? It's going great! Good to hear. The office is, is, is an appropriate temperature for the time of year, and... I... it seems fine. I... we don't... We, none of the windows are open ever anymore, so none, none of the heat gets in. Um, mm. it's a little colder outside recently, so... I actually didn't turn on the air conditioning today. Oh, wow. But maybe I will later, because I forgot about lights and what they do to this place. Hey, don't tell anyone that. Chat, did you know the lights do things to this place? Illuminate and <laughs> heaten? Heaten, that, that, light, that's, that's a new Light word. gives off a byproduct of heat. Uh, right. If I remember how they worded stuff in science class, I don't know. I don't have to go to school anymore. <laughs> you don't need to know anything about light. Oh, hey, sickly. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I, Oof. you, 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 you know, sickly, right, Ian? Jordan, our I, new I, I editor. Know. Oh, I did. I, I had not realized that. That that made that connection. Perfect. Yes, yeah. sickly. Hello. Welcome. They, uh, they, they do our editing for Tap Tap Concede and North 100 right now. Our audio editing. Nice. Nice. Helpfully so Ian has, like, slightly editing. more time, or Graham has slightly more time in his schedule now. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't. I warn you all now, he does not. He might think oh, he does, true. but he does not. Uh, okay, so, uh, hey, Ian, how much Final Fantasy have you played? I have played exactly the first. Uh, I've played uh, Final Fantasy Tactics up to the, uh, the 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 fight that happens before the the first time skip three times, and fuck that fight. <laughs> I really want to enjoy Final Fantasy Tactics, but it keeps getting in my way. So I don't know. Maybe in two years I'll try again. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. I have played exactly. The same amount that I played last time we brought this game on, which Ian was not around for. Uh, you were at Megfest, and oh, uh, yeah. Corey was my partner in crime that day. That's why I don't remember this game. I thought it was just—I thought it was maybe like a block, or maybe I, I, I drank it out of my <laughs> mind for some reason. But no, no, now I understand why we have played this game. Yet I have not played this game, and I have no memory of this game. <laughs> Yeah, I um I was watching the VOD of it because I had to remember how the story works. And uh, the story is basically there's a crystal you need to collect Rhythmia and uh, play the rhythm game until you collect enough that the story says you won. And the oh, story's okay. over and keep playing the rhythm game. That, 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 seem, that seems to work. Before we start, though, I want to point mm -hmm. out Crit Call, that's the one we're playing, is a sequel. This is the first one. Okay, and that is Theat the, Rhythm. Just, okay, yeah. Just Theat Rhythm. Theat Rhythm Final Fantasy. Uh, I think they were going to try to make Theat Rhythm kind of a branding thing, because they also did a Dragon Quest in Japan. They just didn't bring it here. There is, like, a Theat Rhythm Final Fantasy All-Stars Carnival arcade version thing that also we didn't get, because we're not cool enough. You know. Yeah, the uh, usual. But the first one came out here in, like, 2011? Mm-hmm. You remember, uh, do you, do you remember, do you remember instruction manuals actually having pages? Oh, thick. This one, this one's actually pretty impressive. It's, it's all in color. Oh, that's, no oh, whole, good, good, The whole good. thing, like, this is really actually quite nice. You know what I miss most about printed instruction manuals is the is when they started adding or when they added uh, uh, production art into them as well. Mm, mm, those were cool, yeah. Yeah. But you know what they are like today, with safety warnings about uh, please read the safety instructions of your 3ds, and and uh, I don't know. And most importantly, agreements. I have a second one in French because you're Canadian. <laughs> 
le theater rhythm. Yeah. So, like, the inside of this case, they didn't even double-side this one. Not like the first one, where they decided everybody should have tiny faces inside their That's holes. That's so good. Like, the first that... one's just nice and nicer packaged. Why are we playing this one, then? Because it's the sequel, and it has better quality of life improvements. Okay. And the gameplay is the stuff that people are going to actually see. Okay, well, in that case, uh, just for future reference, you should probably put the good game inside the good case. That won't confuse <laughs> anyone, and you'll get a better experience out of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, first one, over 70 tracks from Final Fantasy, which, honestly, 70 tracks is quite a bit of music for a rhythm game. That's, that's a mm -hmm. decent amount of... Sequel uh, has... 221 songs Holy. and over 60 characters from Final Fantasy. No, that's too many. <laughs> uh, they also do kind of an RPG map thing, which wasn't in the first one, but the I would say probably the biggest life quality of life adjustment they make to the sequel that they don't do in the first one is that you can use the buttons and you don't have to use the stick. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That is the correct method of play. Uh, they let you. They let you combine. You can use both the touch screen and the buttons. They let you do. Um, uh, they've got. A, apparently, you can do one-handed play. I think, if you're good enough with one hand, for that, I personally find that just really hard. But it's nice <laughs> to have an option like that for people who need it. And um, I am still upset about the demo display space they made for PAX. For the sequel, when I went and saw it and had no one explaining how the heck the game worked and none of the tutorial stuff up, that is not how you bring people into rhythm games. No. Mm. But especially with especially when we were talking there about about analog controls, which always need to be extremely well done if you're going to put them in a rhythm game. Yeah. Uh, as some people are saying in the chat, there's like also a good amount of DLC for the sequel too, where it's like. Other other songs like Chrono Trigger, World Ends with You, other Square properties. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that up there and then bring the music back. Do, do, do you think they've got any tracks from Rad Racer? Uh, seems doubtful. They, they always forget about Rad Racer over at Square. It's like they don't want. It's like they're not interested in doing driving games anymore. This game likes to be loud. Chat, you're gonna have to tell me how. How the mixes. Because I have to I have to adjust sound in a very strange way for this. Could be lower. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh let's say there. It, it wants to blast it all. It's funny too, because the 3DS home menu is a lot softer and a lot quieter. I mean, which kind of what you want your, your your menu music to be. I'm looking at you directly, Square Enix of 2014. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Touch screen here. Good. Uh, currently, I've, I've set us up for the top screen to be the main focus, because that's where a lot of the stuff is... is for the actual gameplay, okay. uh, but I did create another scene with the bottom being a thing. Maybe you can swap it out on, maybe. On the cha chance that we need it, I, I think most of this happens in the top. It's been a little while since I played it, and after I was like, oh, we should play this again, I started playing the previous one because I realized I hadn't actually leveled all my characters up to 99 yet, and there's like two trophies in that game I still... I'm so close to getting that I can get, as opposed to the other three or four that are really hard and I'm not doing anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, if uh, if you want to see the opening of the game, I do recommend going onto YouTube.com/loadingreadylive and finding the the VOD. I think we did it in like March 2018 uh, because I I started over the game for us, uh, which is why our, our file name is Coho. It's a mixture of Cory and and Heather. 
Well, old Heather. Uh, I haven't used that name forever, but I'm not changing this name. Uh, because you, when you start this game, it gives you a little bit of a story that, again, is just for the top of the game. And uh, then you end up having to unlock things. And I don't know if... Did, we, did I end up unlocking? Yeah, I still haven't unlocked the theater. So. Apparently, I need to have dreams. You need to have dreams? That's, oh, is that what, what those little doing. rugrats down there told you? Alright. Is, is, wait, is that a Kingdom Hearts thing? These are all Final Fantasy characters, I promise you. Okay. Uh, which one are you looking at? That you're not sure. They said something about dreams, and I thought, um, is okay. Oh, that, well, I mean, there like is Dream Drop Distance. There's uh, uh, Birth by Sleep, which I don't know if includes dreams. Uh, look, look, I, I decided to get into Gundam, which means I have only enough space in my head for one, one extremely eternally expanding franchise. To be honest, I was really surprised that the new Kingdom Hearts rhythm game that they're bringing out didn't follow the format of the rhythm. Like they weren't going to put that under the rhythm as a, as a thing. Um, because there were some screenshots they showed that had characters in this art style. Mm -hmm. uh, going on, but but most of the gameplay seems to be quite different. Well, <sighs> gameplay reminded me a lot more of Harmonite. Gotcha. Than, than this one. Uh, so we're gonna start with music stages. Just a couple before we go into the map. Uh, oh. Okay, so that isn't just gameplay, it's just showing you a picture of what Final Fantasy was. Good. I thought, yeah, wow, so... you actually get to be in these old... Yeah, you have to inhabit the old games? <laughs> as, as, a, as a compilation thing, I actually find this game really uh, quite pretty because it, it, it organizes all the songs by game, gives you um, some of the artwork in the background. Oh, yeah. Of all, of all the different stuff. And this one... Do we... I think we go up to, like... I think this was quite around when 15 happened. Huh. But like, oh, 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 one more. There's the good stuff. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with some Final Fantasy Tactics music. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm going to end up looking Holy down God. a lot, just so everyone's aware, because the last time I tried to play this, where I tried to do it through Exploit, was a bad idea. So, uh, sure. Let's start with this one. And I'm going to edit my party first. I want to take a look at them. So, our party is made up of Terra, Zach, Ramza and the Onion Knight, ever the favorite. Okay. The thing is, they've got levels. Uh, that gives you kind of your HP points, how much damage they do during the song, because you are fighting monsters. And there's some abilities. Yeah, what do we got here? So there's there's planning involved. A little bit. I. I like to think of this as so if you if you take out all of your abilities and you play the the rhythm song, at the end of the game you get what they call a stoic bonus, mm -hmm. uh, which is the way to like max out your score. But if you put in uh, there there are abilities that let you do things like uh, here activated when HP gauge drops below seventy five percent, restores ten percent, that kind of thing. And I find that uh, that that's that's a way to kind of make it a little bit easier to get through the whole level. Invisible. Um, what do I want to do? Are you allowed to use magic up? Sure, magic up. Have enough points for that. 
increases damage evasion by 2%. That sounds fun. Ooh. You have on focus, physical damage, vigilance. When a character, start, character will not be switched out for the next party member like usual for the FMS stages. I mean, that seems fine. Ooh. Get braces. Yeah, braces. Leaves you with 1% HP. Hey, one is not zero. Keeps going. <laughs> Very true. Active for the entire length of the stage. Increases the stamina of all party members by 15. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, weapon break. Reduces enemy attack power. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I don't have enough HP for the rest of that. Ooh, that's haste. Ooh, haste lets me go faster. Yeah. Always about going fast. Uh, do I want to equip an item? Do I have items to equip? Uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got some potions and stuff. Yeah, maybe we use a potion. This is what I mean about, like, I think this actually helps with making the game a little easier if you're... Uh, starting. That's that's a good thing to have, then. Yeah, it re restores your, um, your HP and stuff, so you can go through the whole... ...thing. What the heck is collect a card? Yeah, I don't need to boost anyone. Forget that noise. Alright. I have never played this song, so let's put it on... hard. Or, I guess medium? I don't know. Anytime someone uses expert, I assume hard. Don't make it that screen. Look at this screen. Uh, so this is what's called a BMS stage. For battle Does mode. Does stand for battle music stage? Yes. Got there in one. What's the FMS stand for then? You know? Uh, um, Fartman stage. That would be incorrect. Uh, Fiat music stage? Free! Free music stage! Fantastic music stage! Field. Okay, field makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Fine, it can be field. If it has to be. Happy to see the good, the good uh, Chocobo, uh repping though yeah the uh the field music stage is actually where you can turn into a chocobo Does take me back though that music. <laughs> I'm gonna make things dangerously loud on my thing my hand here. <laughs> so as you can see we ranked S. Can you guess how many S's are in this game? Four seems to be the, the good amount, but uh, if seven is uh, the right amount, then... Uh. <laughs> it's three. Oh, good. Yeah, they do triple S score. Uh, they don't do that thing I've seen in some games where they go triple S plus. Mm -hmm. um, perfect chain. Uh, it's 
the 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 round stickers are a perfect chain whether you've cleared the song the um all critical mm -hmm. is the other one because i'm gonna swap here to the bottom screen um this is essentially like no misses then yeah this this what i like about this game is the top here shows you like we've only played the game once so it, it only can show you the current critical um the ones that are all filled out in those sections we crit every every note so we got them all perfectly okay oh okay yeah so the graph is meant to show you here's how you did here's like you didn't you didn't like miss notes but you didn't hit them perfectly right. and if we played the song again uh the second half of that screen where it's missing the space uh would show us where we've done before okay so how much better than you, or worse than you are based on your uh yeah your current uh and and one of the things i found is you the moment you get a critical in in your song it adds that to your you've done a crit before in that chart so you can technically fill out this entire chart without ever fully critting the song interesting which i kind of find to be a a, a neat idea yeah at least give you something rather than if you're not actually making the badge mm -hmm. uh and then when we go next we're gonna get some points for everybody this is this is a bit of an improvement i think over the other game as well uh they would deal out the points and then as somebody got to the next level it would be like oh this person's leveled up here's their stats oh this person now is now leveled up here's their stats and now they just do all of it at once and you can flip through everyone's pages on your team who did level and see see where they're selling it's a small addition but i like it all right we defeated two enemies we've got a high potion some silkus greens And here's where we feed the crystal, get various bonuses, title character, tactical bonus, which I don't know what they mean, I just assume I did good. You, 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 you rhythmed very tactically, <laughs> somehow. Uh, and because we got enough, we have unlocked a new song from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. D D hey, that's a... Nice. Ah, that was the only one with accurate chocobo designs. <laughs> from my understanding. Uh, well, according to the original... According to the, some of the original uh, designs of the uh, chocobos from uh, concept art. I don't know... I don't play Final Fantasy, but a lot of people around me do. All right, I'm gonna show you what an EMS stage looks like because they're a bit different. Oh yeah, please. Uh, I believe the E stands for emotional. Ah. Uh, I mean that 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 fits. Mm, those pants are a problem. <laughs> a thousand words. Echo boasts, which is calculated based on the parties. Oh no, oh, song starting. Oh, come on! You don't get to just draw the Japanese umbrella love symbol as the start. I think that music's a little low. I, I could use a bit more. I'm just gonna... Hopefully that's okay.
kind of fun. It's like watching music videos from movies you haven't seen. <laughs> I like to be make Oh, this means I can get to make up my own stories, too. Oh, I get to do what I did. Okay. I definitely so have not point. gotten far enough within this game to see half the scenes that are showing off right now. Okay, there's a pod racing scene. Got it. Okay, that man sleeps underwater. <laughs> so you notice it says extended version in the corner. Uh, with, with EMS songs, you can, if you don't uh, do a specific thing, which I can't remember what it is exactly now, uh, you won't get the extended version, so the song is just short. Huh. So it just like cuts off? Yeah. Huh. Thanks, game? <laughs> But, I see someone in here saying, hmm? "World ending, dis world destroying mecha thing is controlled by a piano." Eric the Orange, that's <laughs> mecha controlled by musical instruments has a long and and proud <laughs> tradition. Uh, I never. So I played. I played X. That was, I think, probably my first Final Fantasy. And I definitely didn't get all the way through it. And I played mm -hmm. X two because they advertised it and they were like, "Be the three girls who were cool in X," and I was like, "Yes." Please. And then I didn't finish that either. I had low tolerance. I still have low tolerance for sitting in front of a TV to play JRPGs. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do own those on the Vita, so maybe one day I'll get to them. <laughs> I mean, I, I did buy Final Fantasy 1 for the NES, but that was when the Consumers Distributing was uh, closing down and clearing it out for five bucks. So mm -hmm. I, I, I gave it a try, and yes, as, as, as with you, I had a... As a teenager, I had a very low uh, threshold for for dealing with JRPG bullshit. And so never actually played Final Fantasy 1, and then we bought Final Fantasy 7 for my brother, and I think he played some of it. But, yeah. I just, I need, I need to have that kind of stuff on a portable, so it's like, I can do the, the mindless grinding, like on the bus or something, or in another room. It's sitting, sitting in front of a TV trying to get it done. Is work for me. Mm. It's it's just extra work for me. Yeah, no. it's it's no longer entertainment. It's it's a chore. Yeah, it's also why I haven't gotten through Persona. <sighs> <sighs> Persona Four was so much easier on the Vita. Persona Five, why aren't you on the Switch yet? Hey you Ben. Time. How you doing? All right, got a potion for that. Did we get, did we unlock anything? Nah, probably not. Oh, we did. Oh, hey, we, oh, I can join the, I can go look at the theater now. Oh, good, you can look at the EMS. All right, cool, I can watch the videos without playing the game if I want. Uh, let's select another song, let's go find something. Let's go find a field stage, so we can show that off. Uh, oh hey, they have Advent Children in here. It's a good review of Advent Children, or a good re-review of Advent Children recently. Have you not seen Advent Children? Oh, I have, but it, 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 it apparently has aged better than it, uh, than it was at its original release. Oh. Like the, the 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 themes behind it and the, the first of all the the animation actually holds up really well and the uh, the themes behind it hold up better uh, especially in 2020 more than they did back in 2008 I want to say we watched an anime club Six. as part of a welcome night thing uh, I think 2008 sounds right five 2005 five oh yeah, that makes sense. I don't remember when I ran Anime Club anymore. <laughs> An entire era ago. It's been a while. Uh, yeah. yeah. As as far as I understand, there's actually there's like a director's cut or something which I haven't seen, so I'm I think I'm missing out on story. <laughs> I had a friend who went to uh, went went to Japan to uh, to do a couple years of university there at that time, and he was so excited to get Cloud's cell phone when he was there. Ben says he hasn't heard of Final Fantasy as an indie franchise. It is Ben. It is the most indie of franchises. It's super yeah, it's niche. I don't. It's... 
I don't know how anyone- how we even ever got a 3DS game. Ever. It seems like they put out one for each system. It's like, it, it can't be that popular if they're just a- if they're only putting out one. Well, and I hear- I hear, like, no one- no one plays that- that- the 14 one, because you need a lot of people for that. Oh, yeah. It's online yeah, it's, all the time, like, and no one plays online games ever. It's like World of Warcraft, you know? It, it, uh, it, it kind of petered out a few years back, and uh, nothing ever came of it. Mm -hmm. And 15 was a neat little experiment, but clearly they just... They, they, they didn't have enough smooching boys, so... Mm -hmm. Which is why Grand Theft Auto is so popular. It's all oh, no. boy smooching. <laughs> oh, no. The smooch police are after me. <laughs> yeah, no, they just they keep making Yakuza games because so they put out that Zero just a couple years ago, and apparently the Americans just love Yakuza. So they just made like six more right away. Oh, well, that was nice of them. Mm -hmm. Well, they know the, they know where the money is. Okay, we're gonna turn to Jokbo. Oh. See, are there any other long-running uh, game franchises that we can completely dunk on? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's pop and music, but why come for the king if you're not, if you're gonna miss? What is it? Seventeen games? Uh, I think it's actually closer to twenty. If you if you count the stuff that doesn't have numbers in the title yeah. and some of the spin-offs. Pop and music. I think I have like maybe five or six Final Fantasy games on my game shelf that I've never played. But I got I got them. Uh, I definitely got a few of them for the DS when they did the DS re-releases. So they were in the they were in the cheap bin, mm. and I was like, "Well, one day." Backlog. Looks like tw looks like twenty eight arcade releases of pop music. Oh yeah, you know what? Ben is completely right. Pokemon, Pokemon is oh. is the nichest of niche. Like, who wants to go around catching monsters? That Monster Hunter has that covered. Mm -hmm. um, Tied up. Of course, Monster Hunter taking over from from the the, uh, the, the genre champion Digimon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's not forget Monster Rancher, the the I most popular gonna... series. It was Mon Monster Rancher was the one that let you uh, originally put a audio CD inside the PlayStation to make a monster egg, right? Uh, I think so. Didn't it do that on the Dreamcast as well? Why did they ever? I don't think we had a Monster Hunter on the I'm Dreamcast. I'm pretty sure you had it on the Dreamcast and that you could take your monster out into the little video thing on the controller if you wanted. Dreamcast. Ian, you're the Dreamcast expert. How... I should... Yeah. This is information you need to know. Aha! There was no Dreamcast release of Monster Rancher. Dang it! House of Lies been. strikes again. <laughs> I mean, like, given all of the information that you've given, yeah, there absolutely, absolutely should have been. <laughs> we did get cows, though, from Sonic. Hmm. Yes, cows. Mm -hmm. The the cows garden thing was very popular, from what I understand. That's from what I understand as well. <laughs> Ooh, I can change my byline in the menu. Well, mm. go to the I just remembers, remembers me, remembers me, reminds me back of the, the old barcode battler games where you could read a barcode and turn I it into a. Uh, really a wanted, to, wanted to play those. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when they just came back from Japan, they they had one for the for iOS that was a barcode wife. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
But like the, uh, cause they had, um, oh, what game was that? The, uh, cause they had like an arcade game where you could get cards for these, Ooh, for, these does that. For, for, for these girls and they had like a DS game where you could put the DS card reader in the thing to swipe them as well. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that just seemed super cool to me. Yeah, they, yeah, they, you know, I'm pretty sure they're the same game, actually. The, uh, the, the, the pink one for the, the battling magical girls and the green one for the, uh, for the boys and their, uh, you know, little insects. Well, let's see if anyone's online. Is anyone online? Anyone at all. This should be a no, but if there's someone online... How many members of our chat have, been, have had the game open and waiting for just this opportunity? Oh, no access points in range. Well. Oh, right, because Wi-Fi got too good for the Nintendo DS. Well, that or it's not really set up anymore for this. <laughs> That's possible. That's fine. That was me being, uh, mean. <laughs> no. Just a little. Wait, where's the song? What is it? I think it was under. I want to say Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, the man with the machine gun. I've never played this game, but I like this song. Wow. Yep. No, that's a. Let's put when it on super meet... hard mode. When do we get to meet that character? Uh, I only know these characters from AMVs. <laughs> so, first off, see a serious lack of machine guns anywhere here. As they haven't changed the beat map, I should be fine. Huh. Are you going fully off muscle memory here? A little bit. Cool. So this, this seems normal. No! Echoes part two! What? This little guy looks a lot like uh, the uh, Kyoichi's stand Echoes part two. And you appear to be just fucking him up. Ah, Shovel Knight went and forgot to put on sunscreen. Oh, they did change the beat map. It's it's easier in this version. What? Oh. <laughs> oh okay. Fine. Fine. There was just there was this part in 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 it where it was like uh, a bunch of taps, but the arrow going. A down every so often in between oh. and I had like figured out that instead of just trying to tap the screen and remember which ones the arrows were on just to do the swipe on each note to, to... no it's just yeah. not that that wasn't, that wasn't there 
I, I like it when you when you get to a satisfying beat map portion. I got a new collector card. Whoa, oh, yeah. Um, there's card collecting in this game. They don't somehow. I'm not surprised now. Oh hey, I got a trophy. So there are also trophies. Yeah. Let's 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 go look at those. Uh, museum. Are open now. So if you like records, this game has records for you. <laughs> oh right, yeah. So when I restarted this, because I I probably put like about mm, sixty hours into this game originally, and then I restarted it for uh, that stream back in twenty eighteen. Which did definitely take out all my street passes. Wow. But I decided not to care about it. Oh no. Because... Whatever. That's... Because <laughs> the streets are in the past. I mean, I still take my 3DS to, to conventions sometimes. Because other people still do. Um, I mean, at this, at this point, it's probably just a really good way to find the people who are still holding on to the, the old ways. So yeah, it's just a, it's a bunch of records of like how many things did you do, how many of what have you have you managed, um, and then there's trophies for basically anything you can think of. Probably has a trophy associated with it. Good so if you gosh. you like this kind of thing, you like completionism. That's right, I heard Confucianism and that I got confused for a second. No, yes. <laughs> Completionism. Uh, and speaking of completing things. You get a card binder. Nice. Well, at least it gives you the opportunity to store your cards nicely and cleanly. Yeah, for trade-in purposes. So here's our just like I remember her. There's cards, it's got that holographic thing going on. Mm -hmm. See the back of it. Flip it. Skim around it. Traces of Zack. You can even push the autoplay button and let it spin. <laughs> And down. Honestly, I would be really happy if they had Street Pass on the Switch. It wouldn't be as good. It wouldn't be really great for it to be on the Switch because of the, the battery and stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. I I really liked that system. I mean, modern Bluetooth is a lot less power con uh, consumptive than it used to be. Ooh, Probably we got the rare version of this card, not the Ooh. not the normal or platinum do we know what makes it rare is it just the shiny back it's probably the yeah, shiny back yeah so this is this is a normal and it's not as shiny as this one which is slightly shinier i don't know maybe they have a slightly different pose it could be like love live mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's like the other one thing i would really love the switch to have off the 3ds is the activity tracker um because what the Switch has is you can kind of look at your, you can look at what games you've played, and it might say things like, "Oh, you've played a couple hours of this," or, or whatever. But the activity tracker on the 3DS has graphs and and things that are just like uh, the overall time you've played this game forever, or how much did you play last week? Mm, what specific year did you do? Uh, wow. and, and it was it was it was amazing and I loved it and I wish they would put something like that on the switch. <laughs> so basically what you're looking for is you, you, you're looking for screen time for uh, in, in the Apple parlance at least but for all of your video game systems. Yeah I was mad that the video didn't have it. Like the thing is you know that that information is there. That is absolutely being collected by Sony to pass along to their developers. Like every button press, I'm sure. 
Sure. It's just not being exposed to you as the uh, as the uh, user. Wait, now I'm gonna go look at it. <laughs> You're like, this is your data. You should have access to it. Grit those teeth, Moonbase. See, I can see all the games we've ever played. Mm -hmm. No, no one has ever game. used this function. Because <laughs> why would they have? All oh, right, because yes, the title's added. Yep. Every every game we've ever had in this thing that has been has been played. I am in here. loving that we can tell which games we generally play on stream because the average playtime is between 2 hours, 45 minutes, and, and 3 hours. Yeah, it looks like Kathleen probably beat us out on everything with uh, Devil Survivor 2 there. Yeah. Um, what was the Play first game? Frequency would be interesting. Princess debut was the first one. That can't be right. Ooh. Average time. Ghost trick. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I did a longer stream for that. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, but if we go in here and we hit playtime, and we're like, uh, let's say by the year. Oh, no. You can go through. 2012. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this thing thinks it's a different time. Oh, that's oh, okay, fine. Good. But, you know, for the whole year, you can you can go through and be like, oh, what games did I play? For how long did I play them? Like, it's the best thing in the world to me, and I want it. All right, well, pay attention, game developer, uh, console makers. Expose your user data to the, to at, the user. At, at, at the end of, um, at the end of the year, uh, when we would transition into the next year, or uh, uh, I would go onto my 3DS and be like, okay, tell me, sh like, show me my play history. What was the game I played the most this last year? You know, <laughs> it was... It really makes those personal, uh, those personal reports of the year a whole lot easier to do. Right! You know how many bullet journal things I have to do to keep track now? <laughs> Well, before you get into another game here, we should probably take this time to take a short break. I agree. So yeah. we're gonna do that. Uh, yeah. And we'll do we'll do subs when we get back. Yeah. All right. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna go check out the quest medley section of the Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call. Yeah. All right, we're back. This is Rhythm Cafe. We're playing Final Fantasy. The Rhythm Curtain Call. The words go in that order, maybe. Probably not. Actually, a little bit different. But they're all there. <laughs> My name's Heather, and also with me is Ian. You know it. <laughs> do you want to get, uh, get 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 our gratitude out of the way right now, or do you want to save that to the end of the stream? Uh, you know what? How many there are there? Well, let's just do it at the end. Sounds like a plan. Does, does the addition of one more change your decision there? No. It does not. <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> we see you there. And we'll get to you. Uh, right. So, um... We're gonna, we're gonna dive into quest medleys. Which is a newer mm. thing that they put in the sequel. The first one had, um... What they called the Chaos Shrine. And mm -hmm. it was, um... Uh, you would get what I think they were referred to as maps, I can't quite remember, or dark notes, and you would get two songs that you had to do uh, in in order, and depending on how well you did in the first song, help determine what boss you would find in the second song and loot drops, and that had to all do with character unlocks. And that's kind of this expanded. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll take short quest. Oh no, that music too! Bum, bum, ba -da -bum. Uh, well, looks like that one's been cleared already, so let's do this new one. A dainty aberration and the fate. Sure. I 
It's just a dainty aberration. Don't worry. We'll have it out of your fate in just a few moments. I'll have a wee bit of anesthesia. There you go. Nice and sleepy time. So what this does is it gives you a map and you can you you pick a path to take. And you're you're basically just doing one song per section. But I like that it's got like this map layout, it feels like you're on an adventure. Oh, it's a lot of a variety too for a uh, for, for a, a mode, I guess you could say. Hmm. Your HP uh, is for the entire section, and the keys that, that you dislike. get, <laughs> the keys that you get. This is where why like items become important, right? And and abilities and stuff, because you're gonna want to try to refill your HP, and depending on how uh, your, your skill level and your party level. And, and such. Uh, the, mm -hmm. um, the the keys at the top, you keep those keys until you use them. So even if you don't use them on this map, because you can go over this map again, as long as you have it. Because I believe after a while you max out how you having you can delete it and get new maps. Okay. Uh, this is part of what the street pass feature was about. You could street pass maps from people, but you you do just obtain new ones as you play. Uh, we have a key. We can maybe go and get that fat chocobo. Let's see if we can do that. Get that fat chocobo. Uh, and as you can see, there's the, the green one is a song I've played before. But these ones are unknowns. I can still do them. It just won't tell me what they are until I <laughs> go there now. Ooh, Swords of Fury. Final Fantasy IX. Oh, no one's ever played that one. I think I recognize this dude that we're fighting. Is this like Giglios or something? <laughs> uh, it's a monster of many eyes and teeth. He's, he's, he's got a spe he's, he's got a fancy name. It's it's kind of funny. Marlboro, that's it. Yes, the the, the cigarette smoking monster. Okay, now we've just got uh, pallet shift Ariel. Wait, no, that's a ghost, not a mermaid. That's her hair. That's weird. <laughs> now we got a floating eyeball. Even a small floating eyeball. I'm very happy, though. Um, the monsters in Final Fantasy, since they seem to get reused quite a bit. Uh, do you think they've unionized? I think they all have, like, really good dental. Yeah? Well, like, they, mm, I, I, I don't think they've unionized, but I do believe that they've formed a guild, mm. given their, uh, mm. their, their, their settings here. Right, the old uh, version of the unions. Yeah. I just, I assume they must have good dental, because, like, the, almost all the ones we've seen so far have a lot of teeth. Oh, too many teeth. Like, this one has too many teeth and no eyes. What's he gonna do with vision coverage? Hmm. Fair. That leads to Yakuza series, where I believe the next game is gonna be about unionization of the various characters. Yeah, Onion Knight. You can do it. Onion buddy. I don't know what level down that is, but I'm not using it. <laughs> New 
light shines within the crystal. Obtain each shards. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, yeah, character unlock. Oh, yeah, you sure did a peach. All right. Uh, Princess Sarah, who's from Final Fantasy. Okay. Radia from Final Fantasy IV. Okay. Aerith from Seven. She... Okay. Something spoilers there, I guess. Yuna from Ten. Okay. Someone named Snow from Thirteen. And... Mm -hmm. Riku from X-2. Wasn't she in 10 as well? Did I, they bring her on Probably. Two? I mean, awesome. as far as I know, they're all mortal, so they all die. Eventually, not in-game. Unless you really <laughs> suck like me, in which case, absolutely, they all die immediately in-game. Oh, that's fair. It is her X-2 costume. Alright, I've seen, like, three people say Rydia in the chat, so we're good in that one. Yep. <laughs> they're invested. I don't know who most of these people are, or, well, that's not true. I knew, like, three of them. I knew who half of them were. Yeah, I, I know just too little about them to form any opinion about anyone. Alright, so that means we have to go this way. So we shall. Seems good. Or ever make it stay set? I thought it did. All I really, like, the only thing that really ever sticks with me about Final Fantasy, um, is ter in terms of, like, a franchise, is that there's some sort of naming scheme problem between the ones that came out in Japan and the ones that came out in the US. Three is really six, six is really three, four might be really two, I don't know. Like, I think there was unification at some point. But also I know that there's, the, what is it? Saga Frontier was actually Crystal Chronicles or something on the Game Boy. Yeah, and... Wasn't one called Mystic Quest, or that was all oh, yeah, the yeah, like or something? Too. And they never made a sequel to Rad Racer. I mean, make fun of the Kingdom Hearts naming all you want, but at least I I I know what those names are, and that they're not secretly a different one. <laughs> they are all individually identifiable. I did find out the other day that there are different types of Moogles. Ooh. And that was kind of cool. I... <laughs> okay, so what makes them different? Is, I guess, the other question there. Uh, well, I mean, aside from the thing of, like, there's one that's, like, probably bigger than the other one, there's, like, a set of Moogles from a specific land that don't look uh, like, um, the mascot version. Hmm. I'd have to look it up again. Razzle the point that there is, in fact, a fat Moogle. But I would assume that's just a different body type, rather than a different species. Somebody in the chat would have answered that question. Uh, <laughs> there's like a specific kind of, um, uh, like, they, they look different. They're, they're not like fuzzy and stuff in the same way. They're, um, I'm 
I think I think it's the tactics games that put them in that area or something. Ooh, I don't remember seeing any. Maybe? Sorry, I, my, my my computer uh, auto corrected moobles, which is what I wrote to noodles. So <laughs> moogles, different types of moobles. Oh yeah, no. Oh, oh, they appear to be from the. They appear to be from the playable characters from. I'm guessing the uh, the, the online games because they are uh, different and they look like they're playable. And also, it's from fursuit.livejournal.com. Okay, here we go. Now the information's coming in. Head of nine moogles like fluffballs. DS releases the correct names. Ones and nine were mostly postal workers. Twelve Moogles looked different. Tactics Advance had more humanoid looking Moogles. Yes, Tactics Advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. The, ta the tactics I don't recognize. I've heard, I've heard Tactics is a very, very good game. Mm -hmm. I, I, For people I who like tactics very games. Much enjoyed. I'm I'm assuming if it's a tactics game, you have to enjoy tactics games, because otherwise, I, you know, I don't enjoy all tactics games either. That's okay. It's okay to not like things. You don't like have to like an entire genre of video games. <laughs> That, and just because you like a game in a genre of video games, you don't have to like the rest of them. Nope. I, I just, I, I work on the basis of if you do enjoy the mechanics within that type of game, you're more likely to enjoy it off the bat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I, I as someone is, who is uh, oftentimes put off by aesthetics in games, I, I, I like to remind people that, yeah, it's okay to not like something based on the aesthetic. That's, yeah, that's fair. Like by all, by all reasons, I should like Firefly. I have a, I have a couple friends who really like uh, farming simulator games, and they can't, they can't play Stardew Valley because they just can't uh, aesthetically get behind it. Well, let's see. The thing is, I like farming simulator games too, but I like the farming simulator games where you drive the tractor. Fair enough. Farming Simulator 2020! Isn't that already out? I, I think, actually, I don't know if 2020 had a release. Farming Simulator 20. Oh my god, is 20 out? 20's out! Free content update! Trailer! Oh, trailer for the for the, for the uh, release. Not that the, the expansion was a trailer for your truck. <laughs> Do you want to see the trailer? Yeah, there it is. It, 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 it holds things. It has no form of self-propulsion. That's what makes it a trailer. Yeah, I've been trying to, I've been trying to spend some time identifying uh, what things I like in video games and then, like, which things, if they're strong enough, I can bypass a mechanic I don't like. It is a tough one. Because sometimes there's stuff where it's just like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't like this kind of game. But if it has this thing in it, I'll work through that for that. <laughs> Was there a Harvest Moon Rhythm game? That feels like an oversight on our part if there, if there was and we haven't played it. I have not. I am unaware of this. Please send me info if that is true. Give Heather a picture of Spider-Man. If they want to make a Spider-Man Rhythm game, I am all behind that. I'm very there for it. You know, it wouldn't be that difficult to make either. You just make it like, in fact, just just license the Melody's Escape engine, change it from running to web slinging, I'll fill it with music from the various Spider-Man movies, TV shows, and video games, and fine, you got yourself a Spider-Man rhythm game. I'm in. Yeah, I'm there for it. I would, 
I would rhythmically web sling to Spider Man, Spider Man. Radio Wax to the Spider Blood, Spider Blood. Dragon, Dragon, Rock the Dragon. Alright, uh, right, I wanna go after Fat Chocobo. An H star blocks the way, carved with an image of Ramu. Will you use the Thundercrest key? Yes. Gonna go see that chocobo. I don't know what it means, but I wanna do it. <laughs> this is way too pleasant. Actually, that, that is a Final Fantasy game I've played a lot of. Uh, Final Fantasy cr something Fables. Uh, Chocobo Fables. Which is a spin-off game, so it doesn't really have anything to do with... Also, it's a card battler. <laughs> and minigame game. Wow. That, that's, there's a lot going on there, Heather. help it if, like, Final Fantasy has a bunch of mascot characters, and I know all of those, and they're great. <laughs> like, Sid, and Wedge, No, and like, Biggs, like, I Moogles and Chocobos, and, okay, no, can't use my hand to count, uh, and, and Cactars. <laughs> oh my. I did. I, I moved my hand off of the gamepad to count things and, and make motions. And was like, wait, I'm using that for gameplay. <laughs> Our ass on D&D would like to see Ian and Heather playing a horse racing game. The minigames are basically rhythm games without the music. Well, okay, we'll, we'll get right on that the next time that, uh, that I can be in Japan and Heather can be, uh back in the studio, because I believe when you're playing the horse racing games, you A, have to be in the arcade, number one, and if you're there, you got to take advantage of the ashtray that's actually right there on the console in the seat. I'm pretty sure they don't allow smoking in arcades there anymore. Oh, that's a good point. Because I don't want this, I don't want the salary man to make fun of me. Hello, fat sugar of a friend. <laughs> yeah! Make. I mean, we could bring up, uh, uh, Pocket Card Jockey, but that's a solitaire game about horse racing. Also, I'd have to download it, because it's a digital-only game. Ooh, difficult. It should still exist. 3DS eShop hasn't gone away. Yet. Ooh, I got a key. Wait, I used a key to get here and your special thing was to give me a key? My understanding is now if I redo this map, if I want to go to the other directions, that door stays unlocked permanently. So, that's nice. Yeah, that's handy. It's handy. Seeing two Puzzle Harvest Moon games, which is probably what I was thinking one was a rhythm game, it appears one does not exist. Thank you for checking. I... We appreciate your support. In but now I am in, I'm in favor of a Harvest Moon Rhythm game, so... So once we've gotten over the, uh, the, the statistics and analytics information, Harvest Moon Rhythm game. I mean, the, um... The, the, the new Cadence of Hyrule story pack has dropped. 
so we probably need to look at that soon. Ooh, I think I remember hearing this game at some point in the past. I didn't look at to see which game this came from. Like, when it comes down to it, I really enjoy this game. I like the mechanics of it. I like that they've got hold notes, but also kind of uh, a swipe note for touchscreen. Mm -hmm. uh, even if I don't, even if I haven't played a lot of Final Fantasy, the music has always been really good. Yeah, like it's, it's quality music. It's just, I guess, with, with any sort of these games that uh, rely on a, a bit of a knowledge of other ones, there there is a certain amount of nostalgia there. Mm -hmm. Or you could do what Kingdom Hearts is doing and add a new story chapter thing that everyone will have to know for their big universe uh, thing. Yep. <laughs> That'll be fun to dive into because I've barely played any Kingdom Hearts and I, I'm going to assume you also haven't really hardcored into that area. <laughs> You, you know, uh, y y you might be surprised to learn that uh, Kingdom Hearts is just not part of the Ian Horner aesthetic uh, greater <laughs> universe. Oh well, yeah, That's everyone's it. leveling up. That's it, I haven't given it a good shake, so who knows? Maybe one day I'll, I'll get bored and curious or someone will give me an, a, 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 a uh, compelling and... and irrefutable argument to just try it and maybe I'll like it. Possible? I, I've played bits of the first one, but it was so long ago I don't really remember it. Is the problem. And I did, but I did buy the collections when they came out for the PS4. Well, after they came out for the PS4, after a while, because then they, they were very cheap. And it is a thing I do kind of want to check out eventually. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, there's just too many games, period. I, I just started playing uh, Elite Dangerous, which I won at PAX, I, think, I want to say five years ago. That sounds familiar. Which one is that? That is a, uh, it's a space simulator game. Right. Where you, uh, you, you, yeah, you can explore or you can trade or you can combat. It's kind of like the old Escape Velocity games, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. 3D and uh, <sighs> I shouldn't have launched it to test my joysticks. I really shouldn't have because now I'm hooked. <laughs> it's it's really they're just flying between systems and delivering cargo for slight amounts of profit is really kind of scratching a certain itch for me right now. Uh, yeah, no, I can I can see that being really good at this this time. Yeah. Yeah, I've got. It doesn't help that it doesn't hurt that it's gorgeous. I just I every time it's like. I've been I've been really backlogging on indies lately. A bunch of stuff comes out, and I'm like, oh, that's really neat. And I want to give indies money for the things that they do that are cool. So here you yeah. go. Oh, I have five new games I haven't played. Whoops. Oh, and there's two mm. more that I've definitely added to my wish list, but I haven't bought yet because I still haven't played oh, the other five. Shit! I bought that huge bundle back when COVID hit. Remember? <sighs> Beach bought that, and I'm pretending it doesn't exist because I don't. I don't have to look through all the titles. I mean, good on the fact that we at least managed to get some money to the Indies for that. Uh, <sighs> all right, what do we want? Crystals. They look special. Vosland LR Squad for Elite Dangerous when? Uh, I uh, probably the soonest we'll get that to happen is when we get uh, Kim, uh, Matt, and I get bored of Star Wars Squadrons and decide we, but we still want to be doing space stuff. Right, I that's can uh, slyly suggest that in. That's coming up. When, when are you guys doing that again? That's gonna be Saturday next week, October 2nd, 3rd. <laughs> 
the first third of October, which is after the second of October, which is the first second of October, the first day marked two. Not to be confused with the first day that starts with the two, which would be October 20th, which is on a Sunday, which is time for Rhythm Cafe. All right, so October 3rd. Yeah, October 3rd, uh, start time, TBD. Keep an eye, that's Saturday. Keep an eye on the schedule over at floatingreadyrun.com slash live to find out when we will be uh, we will be beginning. Or you know what, I can do that right now to find out when I'm supposed to be beginning. Yeah, I think it's on the schedule, so I don't think that's a TBD so much as you need to find out when you're actually doing it. Heather, I was too busy driving the last planning meeting we had. I know. <laughs> to take part in the last planning meeting we had. Uh-huh. So, it looks like that is starting at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 4 p.m. Pacific, or ending. Uh, presumably at uh, 4 p.m., but uh, it's under bonus, possibly, technically, it may transition into a one more. We'll find out. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, yeah, that's probably the only stream that's happening that Saturday, so I imagine that's just a suggestion of time in which you must play. Yeah. yeah well, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on on the Friday... Yeah. Uh, Narwhal says trench coat says October. Isn't it still March? Yes, it is still March, but we've gotten mm -hmm. so many days into March that we need a different way to differentiate them. So we've started calling them by some different names, but it's still March. It's okay. Mm -hmm. What we're referring to this as Spooky March, or October, mm -hmm. for, uh, for for differentiation purposes. Yeah, we couldn't call it Smarch for Spooky March to shorten it, so, because that kind of exists in a different thing, and we thought that would be confusing. Yeah, the, the Fox Corporation is, uh, or rather, the Disney Corp... Jesus Christ, I keep forgetting that fact. The Disney Corporation is rather litigious, so you can't just use uh, Simpsons quotes nilly-nilly on official things. God, that... No. That means... That makes Marge Simpson a, a Disney princess. And damn it, I'm gonna hold on to that one. Yes, okay, good. I was like, wait, are you down on that? You should be down on that. That sounds no, awesome. No, absolutely not. I, I would love to see that that whole scene from... Uh, uh, from... Uh, what was it? Wreck-It Ralph 2 with all the Disney princesses, but with Marge Simpson added in. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, okay, the crystal. Ooh, that's such a good idea, Ariel. Is a oh, it's a if we fail in their quest, this is where we we can start from again. That's nice. A safe point. How thoughtful. Anything uh, come out of Tokyo Game Show for you so far, Ian? I didn't even know Tokyo Game Show was happening. Ah, yeah, that was this weekend. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, let me find out. Tokyo Game Show 2020. <laughs> Vegas news trailers, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Hyrule Wars, Age of Calamity, uh, Monster Hunter Rise, Near Replic. Heard something about Near Replic. Oh yeah, Near Replicant. That would make Alex happy. Dynasty Warriors, Balan Wonderland, Cyberpunk, Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Virgil, Resident Evil, Kingdom Hearts, Scarlet Nexus, Shin Megami Tensei, Nino Kuni. Dinosaur Warriors, Xbox Series S price. Oh, Microsoft Flight Simulator added got a Japan update, so that's that's super cool actually. Nope, absolutely nothing out of Tokyo Game Show for me. Huh. I 
mean, the big game I was, I, I, I'm excited for has been out in Japan for a while now, I think. And uh, yeah, because the seven doesn't get released until later on in the the quarter here. And of course, uh, our good friend Travis Touchdown in No More Heroes Three has been delayed to, to 2021 sometime. So yeah, that uh, seemed for me. that seemed a little inevitable. I'm happy about that. I, I'd rather a game be be delayed than uh, come out bad. Oh, certainly. Or unfinished. It's always a little disappointing, though. Like, like in that sense of like, oh, okay. Oh, I, I guess I'll find see, something I, else. The, the older I get, the less I find that to be the case. In fact, I the, the more that things can be delayed, the better because maybe then I can get around to paying full price for something. Hmm. Like, Corey and I waited to, because we thought, you yeah, know, maybe nice to play uh, Death Stranding on the PC. So we won't pay that. And then, and now Death Stranding's, you know, it, it's hitting those 20 per, 25% off uh, sales. Mm -hmm. If I wait another two months, which should be no problem, God, that'll be down to like 40 bucks. I mean, I do have to wait for games to hit a system that I prefer uh, to come out on, which changes stuff up. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just meant in the sense of like, uh, Yes, I, I would rather a game get delayed and, and work and be functional and very good when it comes out, but there is a sense of, like, you keep hearing about a thing long enough and to, to hear it get delayed is just a little... There's a, there's a touch of sadness to it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the end of the world, it's just a little sad. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can empathize, or I can... What's the what's the word for I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel that myself. To me, it's like finding out as a kid that your birthday party is getting moved to the weekend instead of the school night on the day that it's on. It's like, it's better that it's on the weekend, but it's still kind of a little disappointing that you can't have it on the day that is your birthday. Mmm, okay. Yeah, I, I I think I've just really become extremely jaded in my old age. Is what happens. Okay. It's like because my, my my response to that, my first internal response to that in my head is, I mean, they're all arbitrary dates anyway. It doesn't really matter. What's important is getting to have a good time with your friends. And if that can only happen on the weekend, and that happens on the day. Well, why oh, have my. it happen on the day? Ian is no, yeah I, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm really utilitarian these days and very mercenary about these things. <laughs> Look, Heather, if I wait until now to start playing Yakuza, I could have every Yakuza game for the amount I paid for Yakuza 6, including Yakuza 6. Uh... And it wouldn't, and it wouldn't change my enjoyment level of them at all. Alright, we have character unlock. We can get someone named Minwoo from Moon Final Fantasy Moonlight Knight. Moonlight Knight. <laughs> Eris from five, uh, Sefer from eight. I think he's a villain, isn't he? Pretty sure I've wait, seen him. Wait, wait, Eris from five. So there was a different Eris. Ferris. Ferris. Okay. And then, you, hold on, hold on. I have a feeling that the people over at Square Enix just have a bunch of dice with syllables that they put on them and like, your name will be e Ferris. Sefer. Suffer. <laughs> um, uh, Prish, Prish. I got, I don't have a joke there. From that'd be eleven. Mhm. Mm the I after yeah, that's eleven. Um, Machina mm, from Machina. Type Zero. <laughs> Is Type Zero a spinoff? What? I. I'm not sure. I've I know the Type Zero series. Is it don't. series? Is it still Lyle oh. Messi? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Noelle from 13-2. Ah, uh, yes, 13. There were three of those ones. That one I remember. It's 13 always keeps happening. That's, that's the only way you can make it lucky after being unlucky is you have to do it three times. Well, it was, it, it was that, and uh, uh, Pink, Ning, Pink, Pink Lightning Girl was also, like, used in ads for handbags or something in Japan? Fashion? Wow. Think. All right, you wanted that Moonlight Night though. <laughs> Love me the Moonlight Night. Summon him with your purple shard. Oh, 
Oh, we got four more purple shards in there. Well, not quite enough to do a second character unlock. <laughs> Can only have so much. He's a white mage? Hmm. Yeah, Tuxedo Mask was a white mage. Moonlight Knight, I think, definitely. Yo, oh, yeah. As Tuxedo <laughs> Mask himself. Anime version, probably not. Mm, he feels like a level one thief. Yeah. Like, he's, he's, he's got the, the skills, he's got the garb, but he's also incapable of actually doing anything properly. I'm just surprised that, that they never let him have his, the one attack that he did have in the manga in the anime I keep okay so I I, I I forgot what is the attack that he gets in the manga uh the smoking bomber I okay think. Huh. It's, it's, it's an outright like blast of energy or something that yeah that sounds you know he like didn't I don't think he got like... anything super fancy smoking tuxedo bomber I'm sorry because I, I, I've always felt myself that, that, that the, the throne rose and then the, the powers that that rose has to do, uh, do like a, a petal shield or also a piercing attack combined with his his cane, his extendo mm. cane, mm -hmm. when it did still extend, was that, that's power enough. I mean, in, in, in the anime, in the original at least, because I don't know if I finished Crystal to that extent, um, when he was being evil, he uh, he had the ability to make his rose grow vines and act like rope during one scene, and and I'm like, you, you couldn't do that before. Right. You can't do that after. I, nope. It seem that seems like a useful thing you could try to help with. One would hope, and then and then and yet. And yet, somehow, it's like he wasn't the focus of the series. No, the focus of the series should have been Sailor Mercury, and it wasn't. Hell, so... hell to the yes. God, if she'd been in charge, so much shit would have got done. Right? You they would have been on time. The they would have They would have had way more time for their schoolwork. Mm hmm Well, they wouldn't have needed time for the schoolwork. They would get... No, they would have had the time. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like okay, here, here is the patrol order for the uh, for, for the various uh, base level Yoma. Everyone gets a, gets a partner and a person. That's because that's all you ever need. You don't need everyone to show up. And most importantly, I want everyone to remember that we can fucking save a teleport whenever we need to get somewhere. The <laughs> fact that we're running around like goddamn animals is. Unconscionable. But we want to hear an animal. Shut up, Serena. So, this feels like it might be a bit one-sided, this fight. This, this fight on this little Pikmin thing? But why does the dragon simply not eat the Pikmin? Because it's going to light it on fire. <laughs> Send it away.
Now, I chose the short map because then we could actually get all the way through it. Um, we had intermediate also as an option, and it's a longer map, and then there are uh, longer, longer quests that I find take actually a couple of hours to get through. Mm -hmm. Which, to be honest, would be nice in a, in a rhythm game. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, I like the whole map section as, as a thing of, um, you, you don't know what you want to play, you kind of want to play a bit of a random thing, but maybe you don't want to have to push the random button all the time. Yeah, one of those quality of life I would like in, uh, in Owen Dunn. Oh, that'd be good. Owen Dunn Adventures. Oh, don't, don't say words for games that need to exist! <laughs> And you want to play some Owen Dunn? The 3DS is back at the office. Yeah, they're all, all we need to do, uh, story-wise, is say that the Owen Dunn are going on a... Oh, they're going on a school trip to different countries around <gasps> the world. It's Owen Dunn around the world, yes! Right? Oh. Uh, because yeah. it's the same school, It's because it's a class trip, the cheerleaders are also getting to be there. Ah. Eventually, we are going to be the only people who remember Owen Don, and it's going to be the saddest and most beautiful moment. You, you say that, but we've had several weeks in a row where we just yell Owen Don, and other people yell Owen Don back. And I think as long as we keep yelling Owen Don, Owen Don can't be erased from other people's memories. Well, that was the whole point of the ending of Owen Don, too. I know, <laughs> and we will keep that tradition going, Ian. Yes. Oh god, they could even do a little level about pandemics and they'd all wear masks just for the one level, it would be great. See? Pat Bear still remembers. Pat Bear will always remember too. There's enough of us who will always remember Owen Don. He... We just need he maybe... He is the Pepperidge Farms of rhythm games. We just need more... more people to, to <laughs> want to, to develop it and... Well, that's the, yeah, well, yes. Yeah, no, the purpose of this game is a remembrance, not the development. God, people think we're skilled or something. Uh huh. Cecil? Uh huh. From. Or? I believe he's one of those running characters. Vaughn? Vaughn. From Escaflone. I mean, 12. Okay. Uh. Sia ran. Sia ran uh -huh. far, far away into Crystal Chronicles. And See you Tifa number two from Advent <laughs> Children. Wait. Mm. Number two. Mm. Yep. What happened to you for Tifa number one? She, she's not a variant. She's a separate and distinct Tifa. Uh, Yeah, there's a few characters of the skin that are technically DLC. Uh, I don't know. Sure. You know what? I watched the movie. That's good enough. Sounds good. Yeah, you watched it and we talked about it. There we go. Yeah. Continuity. Top to bottom. Ah, see, because we, we cleared this map, we get a new map uh, that's listed as level 43. If I remember right, the maps are based on... The level of map you get is based on the level of your party that defeats the map. So if you defeat maps with a really high level party, you're going to get higher level maps. Whereas if, you, if you're trying to get a lower level map, you need to start with a lower level party. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And uh, now that we've defeated this map, we... Uh, we've already received the reward, so we can't get that again, but we can see what items this person can drop for farming reasons. You know, for item farming. Item farming is very important in RPGs, I think, probably. No. The way some people play, maybe. I item husbandry is one of the more difficult things to understand in games, and it's important.
I want I want an anime about item husbandry. Ian. I want to see that taken that that taken to its extreme. So, so what you're saying is you, you you want silver spoon but for gamers. Yes. <laughs> oh my no! Ow! Ow! Okay, so again, gonna mark my words here. We are about two or three years away from a shonen sports anime about specifically about a pro gamer team. I mean, I'm actually surprised we haven't had anime about pro gaming teams yet. Mm hmm. That's and that's I mean, I'm thinking we're just about a couple years away from that being uh, no. a big enough. At, at the very least, I'm surprised we haven't had an anime where the character the protagonist is a pro gamer who then Isekai's his way into the video game that he's a pro gamer for. Like, like that should have at least happened by now. I, yes. <laughs> I mean, they put out eight isekais a year. That's not like it's different. You'd think they'd eventually hit that just on the law of averages. Uh, how many other words can I say that will make Ian throw up? Uh... <laughs> Well, if you keep doing it while I'm taking a drink, it's going to be a lot easier for you. Uh. Hmm. What time is it? I'm going to do one more music stage. That seems like a good idea. Uh. Chat, so what's your favorite what Final for? Fantasy? Just all start yelling. Yep. This will help me, I'm sure. There's a bunch of you here. A lot of people like Final Fantasy. Okay, numbers are coming in. Four, six, four, six, three, six, six, nine, six, six, fifteen. Six, nine, nine. I, you know, I, I, I'm seeing six being so far the... Uh, yeah, I think six is really... Uh... The front runner. That would be you. Alright, what we got? And I believe this one was one of the differently named ones in Japan, because I believe there was a desert bus joke about it. Battle to the death? Yeah. Super hard mode? Yeah. I haven't played this, this will be fine. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the, 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 uh, it's time for the Heather Flex of the Day. Oh, I already did my Flex of the Day. <laughs> Good point. This is purely gratuitous, is what this is. Mm -hmm. I can't help it, I like, I like playing rhythm games on hard when I can. I appreciate your skill in rhythm games, to TBH. I, 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 I give you the gears for it, but... It's hard to, to make too much fun of you because it is actually a skill. You, you put time and effort into honing this ability to grind out these... I mean, this isn't actually so bad, let's be honest. I mean, I will never make fun of anyone for not wanting to play hard on, on a rhythm game. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a choice, and, and you should just have the level of gameplay that you enjoy playing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's a bit of a mirror to that, too. Like, one of the things I'm most... Uh, one of the things I like seeing the most on Twitter right now is Adam talking about uh, starting up some uh, some Street Fighter V and just getting getting better as a player. Mm -hmm. like, that's, what a great attitude. I, I also really like that on top of that, that uh, he's tried to... Uh, make up some beginner lobbies for people to help them yeah. play better as well. Like, that's that's just how things should, should be. People should be excited that other people want to play the things they want to play and help out. Well, and making a space that's accessible is something that's uh, ex explicitly making a space accessible is, is a, an important thing in our community.
brownie points. Replace fighting game with variable, and you've got the answer there. Like, I've, I've seen people who are really good at, at rhythm games to what feels like an inhuman level. Mm -hmm. And they're, that's amazing to watch. I don't think I personally could get to that level without really just excluding everything else in my life. Yeah. But that's... I can get to a high enough level that I can play on, uh, on some of the harder stuff and it's enjoyable. And that's good enough for me. That's all I want. <laughs> Zeus is rad. Sounds great. Oh, I've unlocked a new chime in the sound settings. Actually, I have to admit, I'm a little surprised that um, this game allows for two profiles. That's very rare these days, isn't it? I mean... A lot of current gen systems have different profiles for people, and so you kind of get most of that there. I think a lot of JRPGs still have multiple save file slots. Yeah, uh, due that, to the that, that may be historical the, reasons. That that, but like this this seems a little odd to me that they've done this. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> I'm glad it's there. It's just unexpected more than anything. I mean, let's be, let's be honest, even the computer world couldn't properly translate over to the idea of a Unix directory structure where your user information is kept within its own directory and things that are available to the entire system are left in a separate space. Stop using the desk. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Rhythm games. That's what we're here for. <laughs> uh, it's nice that it does allow for two profiles. My wife and I played this game for over 300 hours total. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a valid reason for, especially on a cart system, uh, this game saves to the cart rather than uh, the 3DS, which most of those games do. Well, yes. No, this is 3DS game. Um, which I found most games did, but there, there were a couple of games that I found actually saved to the system, which weirded me out at the time. <laughs> Thanks, Fantasy Life. Um, it's just it's just kind of an odd thing. Uh, hey, Ian, do you want to do subs? Absolutely. We gotta thank a bunch of people here for being such generous people. Specifically, we gotta thank the people here at twitch.tv slash loading ready run, but we also wanna quickly thank those of you at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Thank you for keeping the lights on and helping us do things. But those of you who did it during the stream are LK, who subscribed for 35 months saying, hi. Relian2773 has come back for 44 months. Welcome back. Damn, nice reading R10 Pez10 or R Lopez 10, subscribing for 34 months, donk, 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 donk. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. Ah, uh, upstage DMC for 38 months. Excellent. Maintain priority for a total of 28 months. I think that might qualify as slow play. Nicaro for 47 months. Welcome back. Agar, thank you for those 10 months of subscription. That Welcome to the double digits. Shane Lee attack for 16 months, 16 whole months. Neat. Potato 42 for 37 months. Thank you for that support. John K 235 for 70 months. Nice. And those are our gratitude recipients for the day. Uh, let's see, we mentioned where you can find the schedule. That's over again at loadingreadyrun.com slash live. Check that out for what's coming up over the next week. Uh, what else we got? Did we go over the YouTubes? Nope. All right, we have several YouTube channels. I am going to say them now. Someone will probably po post them in the chat, which will be way easier. But 
Uh, you can go to youtube.com slash loading ready run for a lot of uh, edited type content. You can go to youtube.com slash loading ready live for the streamium content. And if you like magic, we've sequestered that over to youtube.com slash LRRMTG. Sure can. Heather, where can they find your shenanigans when you're not here at Loading Ready Run? When I remember to stream at home it is on <laughs> twitch.tv slash LunarJade. You can also find me over at Twitter, uh, also as LunarJade. Yeah, I say that because sometimes I forget it's Monday when I wake up. And of course, you can find everything that I and Corey do over at T-I-L-T-Y dot H-O-U-S-C. That is, in fact, a valid URL. Put it in your bar and it'll get you right to the place where Corey and I post our things, including podcasts, late night dub fight, and links to our profiles on the bad website at twitter.com. That's it. That I is think. everything. Um, let's see. Important wise, Rhythm Cafe next week. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to go, we're going to, we're we're gonna revisit Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. Um, not starting the game over. We're just gonna play whatever ones we feel like playing. Uh, but like that it. does mean we will go and visit our Turnip Goat, which I know mm -hmm. many of you have been worried about. It's been a long time since we've seen Turnip Goat. I promise you, Turnip Goat is still in good health. Uh, oh, I, I was. I, I thought for a second I was on screen and I was gonna pull up a goat, but no, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm invisible, so that's probably best. Well, no, nothing's stopping you from pulling up a goat. It just may not translate. Just for me. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to pull up a goat for yourself. Ah. Uh, Heather, let's end the stream. You go get yourself a goat. I'm going to go get myself a goat. It's going to be a good night. All right, chat. You've heard us. Go get yourself a goat. <laughs>